Hello everyone, my name is Alexis Flores and I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Cisco. I'd like to welcome you to this video where I will be demonstrating how simple it is to upgrade your CSR 1000V virtual router to the new Catalyst 8000V using the power of Cisco SD-WAN. Just a heads up, this demo is for a CSR 1000V router running in controller mode. I will be covering the CSR 1000V running in autonomous mode in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. Before we start things off, let's first talk about what you should know before upgrading. There are a couple of things you should know before upgrading. First, this upgrading procedure is for upgrading to a new software version on the same VM your CSR 1000V is hosted on. You also want to check your hypervisor compatibility before performing the upgrade. Your current hypervisor must be able to support the Catalyst 8000V for the upgrade process to be successful. Currently, the Catalyst 8000V is supported by VMware's ESXi, Red Hat's KVM, and public cloud hypervisors such as AWS, Azure, and GCP. You can find more compatibility information on the link I've posted on this slide, or you can look at our Catalyst 8000V configuration guide posted on Cisco.com. If your CSR 1000V software is running a version prior to 16.12, First, upgrade your current version to 16.12 and then upgrade to the latest version on the Catalyst 8000V. Lastly, as a result of upgrading your CSR 1000V to the Catalyst 8000V, the PID changes and the Yang models, SNMP, and any other network management protocol will return new values. And a little bit more on the supported software versions, let's briefly talk about which iOS XE software versions support upgrading to the Catalyst 8000V software. If your CSR 1000V is running iOS XE 16.12 or later, then you can directly upgrade to the Catalyst 8000V without any problems. If you're running 16.11 or earlier, then you first want to upgrade to 16.12 and then upgrade to the current version of the Catalyst 8000V, which as of this video upload is currently 17.4. With that being said, now let's look at a step-by-step -step workflow on how to upgrade a CSR 1000V to the Catalyst 8000V. As you can see, the steps are pretty straightforward. First, we're going to log into our CSR via SSH and verify the platform type, current iOS XE version, and licensing. Then we're going to navigate over to software.cisco.com where we will find and download the latest Catalyst 8000V software. After the download is complete, we will then go ahead and upload the file to Cisco vManage. We will then go through the software upgrading process and after the CSR has been upgraded to the latest Catalyst 8000V software, we will log in again to our CSR via SSH and verify that the upgrade was completed successfully. And now that we've gone through the step-by-step -step workflow, let's actually go ahead and start the upgrading process. So first thing we're going to do is log into our CSR via SSH. I'll be using the terminal app on my Mac, but you can use any terminal application you're comfortable with. Now that we're logged in, we're going to verify the platform type, current iOS XE version, and licensing. I want to show that we are indeed upgrading a CSR 1000V virtual router, and we can do this by typing the command show platform. As you can see, this command output tells us that the device platform is currently the CSR 1000V, and then we can go ahead and check the current iOS XE version by typing in the command show version. And if you take a look up here, we can see that the CSR 1000V is running version 17.3.2, which as mentioned earlier, is supported by the Catalyst 8000V software. And lastly, to show our licensing information, we can type in the command show license UDI, and it will return the PID, serial number, and UDI of the device. You will see that the original licensing you have acquired will remain the same even after upgrading to the Catalyst 8000V software. Now that we've gone ahead and verified that we meet the upgrading prerequisites, let's navigate over to software.cisco.com. On the top left, you'll see that there's a section called Download and Upgrade. Click on the link called Software Download and it'll take you to Cisco Software Download Repository. In the center of the page, you'll see a search bar. Type Catalyst 8000V and you should see a result called Catalyst 8000V Edge Software. Click on that and you'll be asked to select the software type. We're interested in the iOS XE software, so click on iOS XE software. So now you'll see a list of the different software download options for the Catalyst 8000V. 
Since we are interested on upgrading the CSR software to the 8000V, we are looking for the software upgrade binary file. As you can see, the first result is the software binary file that we need, so we can go ahead and click on the download button located to the right of the file name. Click on Accept License Agreement, and you can save the file locally. It's a pretty hefty file size, so it may take some time to download based on your network speed. For the purpose of the video, I already downloaded the file ahead of time, so we don't have to waste extra time waiting for the download to complete. So now with the file saved, let's go ahead and navigate over to Cisco vManage, where we will upload the Kyalis 8000V software. Once we're logged into our vManage, there will be a hamburger menu on the top left corner of the screen. Let's click on that, and then we will find a little toolbox icon that says maintenance right next to it. If you expand that, you will see a section called software repository. That is where we will be uploading the Kyalis 8000V software upgrade and any other software upgrades you'll need in the future. Once you click that, you can find the software version for your SD-WAN device. It also shows you the controller version for your vManage, which just means that this software device is supported on that vManage controller version. So now, if we want to upload a new software version to vManage, we can navigate over to the top of the blue rectangle that says Add New Software. Let's click on that and then select vManage. So now we're allowed to upload the software file that we want. We can drag and drop the file or browse for it. I prefer browsing for it myself, so let's go ahead and click that. Once you find that 8000V software upgrade file, select open and then upload. I already have this file uploaded to the software repository on vManage, which is why it's telling me that the file already exists. But if you're uploading this file for the first time, it will show you an upload status bar and it will populate into the software repository once the upload is complete. After the file has been uploaded to the software repository, we can now use it to upgrade our CSR. Now let's navigate over to maintenance and then click on software upgrade. Here we can see a bunch of devices that are currently being managed by our instance of vManage. Now let's click on our CSR where you can see on the top of the list, we have actions that we can perform to the CSR. We want to upgrade its software version, so let's click on the first box that says Upgrade. Then select vManage, and you can see that the platform says CSR 1000V, and to the right of it, it will give us a list of available software upgrades that are found on the software repository. Let's select the one we just uploaded, and then click on the Activate and Reboot checkbox so that the CSR boots into the new software, and then click Upgrade. The CSR will now go through the upgrading process, which could take some time to complete. Once the upgrade begins, you can begin to track the status of the upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and resume once the upgrade is complete. The upgrade is now complete and we can verify that it is successful by checking the status. We can also go ahead and log back into our CSR via SSH and type in the same commands we had gone through earlier. So let's go ahead and do that. And now that I'm logged back in, if we type show platform, we can see that the new platform type has changed to the Kyalis 8000V. And we can also go ahead and type show version, and this will show us that the new iOS XE version is 17.4.1. And last but not least, if we go ahead and type show license EDI, you can see that although the platform type and version has changed, we still have the same licensing that we have acquired with our CSR 1000V. And that's it. That's really all there is for upgrading your CSR to the Catalyst 8000V using Cisco SD-WAN. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you in the next one.